Hi Castle View, so this is the tutorial video on how to make the egg carton, bunnies and chicks. So I'm going to start with what materials you're going to need to make these Easter crafts. Okay, so what you're going to need is some egg cartons first of all. Nice empty, nice cleaned out egg cartons. Doesn't matter what kind of egg cartons, whether the 6 or the 12. Whatever you've got lying around at home. You're going to need some scissors. Some sellotape, I've got masking tape here which is really, really good, but if you've got sellotape, you can use that as well. Some glue, I've got a glue stick, some PVA glue. If you've got some super glue, you can use super glue, but you might need an adult's help with that one. If you've got some googly eyes, you can use googly eyes, or I will show you how to just use some card and a black pen. You're gonna need a black pen. Any kind of black pen, it could be a felt tip, sharpie, whatever you've got will work. Some cotton wool, doesn't need to be a lot, but a little bit of cotton wool. Some paints, if you've got poster paint, that's fine. Um, otherwise, you can use acrylic paint, as I've got here. This is just acrylic paint from the pound shop. It doesn't have to be like, artist special, um, really expensive acrylic paint. I've got the primary colours, red, blue and yellow, and a white as well need some brushes and some water as well and something to put your paints in I use these recycled old cleaned out food containers and I've got some paper as well it doesn't matter what color you choose to use I've got yellow and um, pink orange red because I'm gonna do my bunnies and my chicks but doesn't matter what kind, you can have a blue bunny if you want to, doesn't matter, up to you, your choice. Okay, so we're going to start with the base of the bunny and the base of the chicken, which is the same. So you're going to take your egg cartons, the bottom part where the egg normally sits inside, and you're going to need to cut out two of them, one for the top half and one for the bottom half. So very carefully with some scissors or with an um, adult. You are going to need to cut two of them out, and then you're going to want to cut that top bit off. egg bottoms and then I'm going to need to know that because I don't want to have any weird little straggly bits coming off I want them to be nice and neat okay these ones because they're in the middle of the carton they've got the um, bits from the middle that have come out, so I am going to mask and tape those ones together using some of my masking tape. You can use sellotape as well for this bit. I'm just going to tape that down. And again on this side, And then I've got my bottom and my top. So now I need to fix these together. I'm going to decide where, which one's going to be my top and which one's going to be my bottom and where the back is going to be. And I'm going to make sure that this bit here is nice and straight so that they can open up so you can see. At the back where I've joined it up, there's a little bit where it goes along and then oh, comes up again. So I'm going to make sure that's nice and straight along there. So that these two can fit together really well at the back. Okay, then I'm going to have a look at the front. 
front and see if that's really crooked and if it's really crooked then I can just um, take my scissors and straighten that bit up as well. straight now which means they're going to fit together really well like that and they haven't got any wonky bit okay then I'm going to go back to the back <coughs> where the masking tape is take a bit more masking tape and then I am going to fit the two back parts together with some masking tape just straight over the top like that. Masking tape is better than sellotape if you have it because you can paint straight over it. And then you should have your your top and your bottom to either your chick or your bunny, whichever you decide to make. Okay, and now we're ready to paint them. So, I'm going to choose whatever colour you want to. As I said, you can use, if you've got any um, leftover nice washed up cartons from any food, or you can obviously use the other side of the eggs as well, which I'm going to use, I think, now. So, I'm going to pick some pink okay and then I'm going to cover the whole thing in pink paint all finished um, if you've got poster paint it's take a while to dry if you've got acrylic paint it's nice and quick to dry so I'm just going to put it over to one side to dry and then we can start making our beaks or our um, bunny ears and eyes if we're doing our bunny so I'm going to make some ears for the back of my bunny. Okay, so you want some white card or some white paper. I've got some white card here. And you can draw on the back, nice straight line. And then from the straight line, nice big bunny ear shape. If you want to, you can draw them out first on your card and then cut them out or you can cut them straight out if you're nice and confident if you want to you can cut one out and then trace around the other so they're the same size or if you want to have them different sizes I think they're quite nice when they're different sizes it's a little bit unique you can do that as well okay and then to add a little bit of extra detail and because they I think they look really cute on the inside of the white ears, I'm going to put a little bit of pink. So, again, doesn't have to be pink. It can be any colour. If you want to have a blue bunny or green bunny, up to you. Whatever colour you want. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, again, you can draw around it. And then you can make it a little bit smaller. So when you're cutting into it, cut inside where you have drawn your pencil. And then you'll have the exact same shape, but a little bit smaller for the inside of your bunny ear. Like that. Okay, and then you're going to need your glue stick or your PVA whatever kind of glue you've got. I've got a nice yellow one, it dries clear, but it's good because you can see where it is on the video. You only need to put it on one side of whatever it is that you're gluing. And then you can stick your paper down. There you have it, one bunny ear. Okay, now I'm going to make the other one. 
Okay, now I've got two bunny ears ready to be stuck onto my bunny when he's dry. Um, so now I'm going to make some eyes in case you don't have any googly eyes at home. So again, we're going to cut out from our piece of white card or piece of white paper. Okay, so I've drawn some little circles onto my piece of card for the eyes. My nice piece of white card on the back. I've drawn it on the back so when you cut it out, you can't see any of the pencil or the pen coming through. These are quite small, so you might need some help from an adult to cut these out. Okay, and there we have two little eyes that are ready to be stuck on as well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make your bunny nose. So you're going to need to pull off a tiny bit of cotton wool if you haven't got a little cotton wool ball at home for any crafting you might have some in, if you like to do crafting at home you might already have one if not you can just roll a ball up of cotton wool in your hands and so you've got a nice little round bunny nose and then we're ready Put everything onto our nice dry bunny. Okay, so now we've got everything ready to stick onto our bunny. So I'm going to use some PVA glue to stick my bunny ears onto the back of my bunny, just either side where the tape is. I'm going to use a little bit of PVA glue. little dollop either side and then I'm going to stick my bunny ears on and I'm going to hold them in place just while the glue works its magic okay and then I can leave them there Okay, then I'm going to do my eyes. So for the middle of my eyes, and remember this bit's really super fiddly, I'm just going to put a little black dot just like in the middle of these ones so that he's got some pupils in the middle of his eyes. Okay, and I'm going to use my Sharpie pen because it's really good for this. Very carefully put some dots in the middle for the bunny eyes. Okay, and then I've got a little bit of PVA onto a spare piece of cardboard so that I can dip the back of the eye onto it. Just only need a little bit to decide where they're going to go on the front. And then I can stick them down. So it looks a little bit like a cyclops at the moment. And then I can stick the other eye on the other side. Okay. Right, now I need the nose. So I'm going to take my little piece of cotton wool, check that he fits. If he's too big, it's just going to take up all your space and all your eyes. Oh yeah, that's great. Okay, and then I'm going to dip back of that into my glue and straight on and he's almost finished okay then you just need some eyelashes if you want to give him some eyelashes you don't have to I'm going to give mine a few eyelashes just around the eye and three on the other side as well and then I'm going to draw on three nice big bunny whiskers on either side. And there you go. You have your finished bunny. And he's ready to be filled with whatever sweets, chocolates or mini eggs or whatever you have 
at Home Ready for Easter.